What's up, pen people? Pen Gangster here. And I just got a pen in the mail today that I'm really curious about. It's the Opus 88 Omar Flora pen. I've never owned an Opus before. I have tried a friend's Opus. And from my experience of that, it actually wrote really well. So when I saw that the Opus 88 Omar Flora was coming out, it had exactly the color scheme that I like, lots of pastels, it looks like spring. And so I was all over that. And I got it in the mail today. The pen comes encased in a white box that's covered with an orange sleeve with some sort of interesting detail on it. Slide that sleeve off and we're left with a white box with the Opus 88 logo at the top right corner. And then once we open up this box inside the box, here is our pen. So it comes with some literature. It actually uh, shows you how to use this pen. It does offer directions of how to fill the Opus 88 Omar Flora. It is an eyedropper pen, so it will hold a lot of ink, which I'm kind of excited about. But then again, I hate being having one pen dedicated to one ink for a very long time. Also inside the box, besides the pen, there's also an eyedropper to use to fill up the pen with ink. I'm so glad they provide it with it. So it, is, it does feel like glass. That's quality. The pen, it's meant to resemble the shape of a vase. So if you really look at it, it does kind of look like a vase. So the very top here has kind of a lip that a, a vessel or a vase would have. And at the very bottom, it actually has like a uh, some sort of like platform on it. And it does stand up. I mean, I it stands up. I'll show you uh, when we do the writing sample. When you get over the vase-like proportions of this pen, which I find very interesting, is you have a number six stainless steel nib. It is a German nib from what I understand. And then undo that. And so you don't get a converter. There's no converter here, but there is an O-ring to secure that ink when you do eyedropper this pen. And if you look in here, there is like a plunger like thing in there. And I believe what you're supposed to do with this pen is once you have the ink inside of the barrel, you're supposed to untwist and let air into it so it can flow through the nib and onto the paper. So let's just go ahead and take this part so we can see exactly what we're looking at here. So here is, you know, I'm gonna pull it up about this far. So that's exactly what's going on inside of this. So you can see right here, this is where the ink, the ink should not come out of this end, it should be blocked. It's a very interesting pen. Now, if this works out and ends up being any good, I'll probably end up getting another Opus, another Opus pen, uh, especially if this writes as smooth as my friend's pen. The Omar Flora is a very large pen. And just so you can get an understanding of how big it actually is, I'm gonna compare it here. This is to like what I would consider a standard size pen, uh, being the Peniter Avatar UR pen. So here they are next to each other. The height is about the same. But you'll notice, look how wide this pen is compared to the Peniter Avatar. It's very wide. Now, does the pen post? It does post. So it posts rather deeply, but man, it's big. <coughs> it's really big. So it's got a big old nib, it's gonna hold a lot of ink. I mean, everything about this pen is big. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink up this pen and let's see how she writes. All right, let's take a closer look at this pen. So let's take off the cap, check out how it posts. It does post nice and deep. Put that to the side. Unscrew this. Here is the inside of the pen. So we've got a nice O-ring that's gonna prevent any of that ink from leaking through. And also here's the part where we will be 
putting ink inside to eyedropper this pen. Now, since there's an O-ring, I really don't see a whole lot of need for any silicone grease. Now, if it does start leaking or anything like that, I will probably apply a dab of it onto the threading right here. At the very top of this pen, oh, it does shut nice and close to that, so it was nice and tight. So, at the top here, this is where there's kind of like this plunger-like um, material. And so what it does is it does slide through and it's recommended when you are using this to unscrew this bit to let some air in so that the ink can flow out of it. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead and put some ink into this eyedropper system. Also remember when I said it stands up? It actually does stand up. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So you, you know, you really don't need a rest for it, I guess. You could stand it up and just, it could kind of be like a little novelty. Thanks so much for joining me and taking a look at the Opus 88 Omar Floral Fountain Pen, which looks like a vase. Kind of looks like an urn, but I'm going to say it looks like a flower vase because of all the beautiful colors. I hope that you've learned something about it and go check it out over at Pen Chalet. That's where I found mine. The retail price for it is $123, but you can find yours over at Pen Chalet for $98.40. That's all I have for now. And that's how the ink flows. Thanks for watching.